According to Dr. Arthur Phillips, the virus, which is spread by the Culex mosquito, was discovered in one patient. We have detected one case of West Nile virus. Um, this would have been documented in a report to WHO in September, as well as, this is under international health regulations, as well as in our surveillance bulletin, which we share with um, clinicians and healthcare providers. That report from the World Health Organization states a child from Bagatelle St. Thomas contracted the illness, and the information was noted in the WHO disease outbreak news on October 3rd. Dr. Phillips says this is not the first case of the mosquito-borne infection in the region. It had been previously um, detected in, in the Caribbean, um, Certainly, back as far as 2007, some of our, our colleagues uh, involved in research would have been that we should expect the possibility or we should anticipate the possibility of West Nile virus um, coming to Barbados. International health agencies state there is no person-to-person -person infection, but the cycle shows wild migratory birds, the Culex mosquito, and horses contribute to the spread of the disease. The acting CMO says while there's no indication of a zone of spread, Barbados has both the migratory birds and the Culex mosquito. He adds West Nile symptoms are similar to other mosquito-borne illnesses. It is a, a vector-borne disease like um, dengue or, um, or Zika, and, um, and it can be transmitted by uh, mosquitoes, not transmitted uh, person to person, and the, the risk is very, very low. The vast majority of cases of uh, West Nile virus are without symptoms, and in those who have symptoms, the vast majority of cases are, are quite mild. Um, so that's, that's the situation in terms of West Nile virus in Barbados at the moment. The symptoms are mild and can be severe, ranging from rashes and fever to paralysis in severe instances.